Hello there. Uh, story time last time was right all right, won't it? Uh, many of you wrote me and requested that I do it often. And I know we've had some um, some tough days this past couple weeks. And I thought, well, honey, what day better than today? Yes. And story time doesn't always have to be for the current kid, but the kid inside of us. Because I think all of us sometimes can use a little encouragement through a children's book, can't we? Yes, very good. So today's story is, oh, what you say? Oh, you want me to sing the song like I did last time to bring you in? Well, honey, very good. We shall do it. Are you ready? Let's go. I said, come on in the room. I come on in the room. Hey, hey, Jesus is my doctor. And he writes out all of my prescriptions. And he brings me all of my medicine in my room. Honey, come on in this room, baby. When you get in here, go on, hit share. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, the name of today's book is It's In You, a book for big dreamers. You see that? Can y'all see it? It's in you, honey. As we know, all our dreams are inside of us. Uh, the goal is to get them out. So this is written by Sharifa Anozi. Honey, I hope I didn't tear it up. And illustrated by Claudio Espinosa. Very good. Let's read. Okay. It's in you. All right. Just trying to see so y'all can see it. Yeah. It says, can you see it there? Let me bring it in a little closer. And let's get this thing right. I want y'all to be able to see it right, right close up in things. Hold on. Come on, production. That's me. Oh, you mean I got two stands right here. One work a little bit better than the other. Okay, let's just see. All right, can we see? Hey, you. Yes, you. I wonder what you'll be. I wonder how big you'll grow and if you'll be bigger than me. What will happen when you hatch? Where will you go and who will you see? My name is Ella and you can always count on me. What does Ella have there in her hand? Huh, guess we're gonna have to see. Ooh, look at that. It took Four days for the little egg to hatch. Turns out it was a caterpillar. Ella named him Patch. He was two inches long with bright stripes of black and white and yellow. He seemed very hungry, but yet very mellow. Yeah. He chomped and chomped on his milkweed all day long. Ella even heard him singing a caterpillar song. Hey, Patch, what do you want to be when you grow up? See there? And Ella has a whole new friend. One day I'm going to fly high, so high I'll touch the sky. A frog overheard the caterpillar's dream. He was skeptical and he didn't believe. You don't have wings or even a plane. A caterpillar trying to fly? Ha, 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 well, that's insane. That frog ain't know what he talking about. Well, Ella started thinking. How could she help his dream come true? What about these feathers? I could stick them on you. A bee overheard the caterpillar's dream. She was skeptical and didn't believe. You don't have wings or even a plane. A caterpillar trying to fly. <laughs> well, that's insane. What about a cape? Oh, could that help you fly? But none of it was working and Patch started to cry. A squirrel overheard the caterpillar's dream. He was skeptical and didn't believe. You don't have wings or even a plane. A caterpillar trying to fly. <laughs> oh, 
well, that's insane. But Ella and Patch kept on thinking. They didn't want to give up. <gasps> oh, I've got it. What about a cloud or a really big balloon? But none of it was working. Then Patch spun into his cocoon. A rabbit overheard the caterpillar dream. She was skeptical and didn't believe. You don't have wings or even a plane, a caterpillar trying to fly. <laughs> well, that's insane. Ella didn't see Patch for 10 long days. Hey, little caterpillar, don't you want to come out and play? But Patch didn't answer, so Ella went away. Inside his cocoon, Patch closed his eyes and made a wish. I wish I had wings. I wish I had a plane. I wish that I could fly high in the sky one day. Come on, Patch. You better dream, Patch. In the morning, when Patch opened his eyes, he felt a little funny deep down in his tummy. He busted out of his casing and much to his surprise, he emerged the most beautiful butterfly. Patch, is that you? Ella couldn't believe her eyes. Everything they had worked for was finally realized. Patch, you do have wings. Your dream has come true. Turns out all that you needed was always inside of you. There we are. Look at Patch. And Patch went from a caterpillar to a butterfly. And it was always going to happen. Always inside of him. With his good friend Ella there. Very good. Very good. It's in you. Yes, a book for big dreamers. And I hope this all made sense to you guys. I hope that you know that your dreams are all yours. They're inside of you for a reason. They're there so that you can give birth to them and they can come out into the world and you can show them to people how beautiful and amazing they are. Just like you. Yes, so you keep dreaming. Don't let nobody tell you your dreams can't come true because they can, as long as you believe. All right, very good. I absolutely love you, honey. Now listen, I want you to go on about your business. I want you to have the most amazing day. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's him. Very good, love you, bye.